InHelp has been doing the work that we are doing now for over 50 years. Our mission has been to protect and improve access to healthcare for low income and underserved individuals. We have been partnering with legal services since at least the early 1990s, bringing lawsuits um, when that was necessary to challenge healthcare access issues in Missouri. The Health Law Partnership works really well because legal services has the boots on the ground, um, the relationship with people in the state who are impacted by healthcare policies. And InHelp brings to the partnership um, our depth of expertise in Medicaid and the Affordable Care Act. So with legal services, we have brought some very significant litigation on behalf of people with disabilities, children with uh, complex medical needs, we prioritize working to strengthen and enforce the right to quality health care because we believe that poverty is not a personal shortcoming, but rather is a collective failure in our country, the result of centuries of racism and of systems that were designed to and do perpetuate inequality. So we think we've got a responsibility to, to change those systems and to create systems that eliminate health disparities. Sometimes the partnership between legal services and the National Health Law Program has a huge impact um, that we can see. In one of our cases, one of our plaintiffs, Joey Everett, was 17 years old and he swerved his truck to avoid hitting a cow. And his truck rolled over as a result, he had traumatic brain injury, he ruptured his spleen, and he was partially paralyzed. In a declaration in the litigation, his mother filed, she said, as a parent, I have always wanted what was best for my son. It feels to me like the state of Missouri is forcing us to put Joey in a nursing home. I cannot stand the thought of doing that to my son. So as a result of the work that Legal Services and InHelp did, Joey's mom has the services that she needs to keep Joey at home. And that's why we do this work.